Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week, we will be talking about how to take care of your dress on wedding day and all the necessary things that you want to keep in mind as you prepare for the big day. Before we get into this topic, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment below. Let me know if there is anything you'd like me to cover, talk about on the channel. I am happy to create a video for you. I am here for you, guiding you along the way, leading up to your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, known as wedding fashion expert. I'm also a stylist, buyer, and wear many different hats at Lavella Bridal located in Los Angeles, California. For daily content, please be sure to follow at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and lastly, at Wedding Fashion Expert. This week's topic was requested by a subscriber, Renee. Renee is asking about any tips that I have on how to take care of your dress on wedding day. Should you do things like avoid harming the train, etc.? Thank you so much for writing in, Renee. I'm really excited to talk about this, and thank you so much for inspiring this video. The first thing I'd like to discuss here is making sure that your gown is properly steamed for wedding day. If you are traveling and your bridal store does not offer steaming services, you definitely want to watch my video on how to properly steam a dress. I will link that for you below. So first things first, you want to make sure that your gown, your veil, all the things are perfectly prepped and ready to roll. I also have a video on how to remove static out of your wedding dress. This is something that people often overlook that your dress will actually cling to you and pick up static along the way that's also a really important thing to consider I will also link that video for you below as well something that I recommend every single bride has on wedding day is number one a wedding planner I think that every single human has to have a wedding planner because at the end of the day you're not always planning weddings unless you are a wedding planner and they know how to guide you in the right direction and it's just such a seamless day and logistics timelines, making sure everybody's running on time, making sure all your vendors show up. First things first, you must have a wedding planner. However, your wedding planner, majority of them, and this is something that you want to check with, they are not responsible for you as the bride and your dress on wedding day. So I recommend that you hire a day of stylist or dresser. I am not one that does this. However, I do have a lot of friends that do this on wedding day and you can definitely reach out to me if this is something that you are interested in I highly recommend it number one wedding planner number two dresser and stylist on wedding day must-haves and I'm going to walk you through what this dresser and stylist on wedding day will do for you so essentially a dresser and a stylist is there to make sure that your gown is steamed properly right they're also there to make sure that your dress looks beautiful in every single photo. Malfunctions and things happen throughout the day. They are there to take care of them so that you have a seamless day. Potentially a strap could break off, a zipper could break, a bustle could break, somebody spills something on your dress. The list goes on. There's so much that can go wrong. On wedding day, it's one day, there is so much margin for error. And it is so important to have someone there that is carrying your train with you from photo and from location. They, they know how to do the bustle properly. You don't have to rely on any of your guests, your planner. The planner can focus on all the other things that she has, she or he has to do that day. It is so important to have this person there. And not only are they there for you, right, for your dress, they're there for the entire bridal party, the men, the women, all of it. Another component to consider is if you have different looks throughout your wedding, if you're wearing a veil, which I highly recommend, if you're wearing a veil, that veil comes off after the ceremony, where does it go? So many brides have told me that their veil has gotten lost on wedding day or if there's a tear in the veil. There's one stylist that I know that is a dresser for wedding day and she told me that one of her brides had a veil rip down the center right before the ceremony. She was there, she was literally sewing the veil 
to the second that she put the bride down the aisle. And there's another thing right there. Who sends you down the aisle to make sure that your dress is absolutely perfect? The dresser. There's so many things to consider when it comes to taking care of your dress on wedding day. And it would be so wonderful to cross that off your to-do list and not have to worry about it and have a third party take care of that for you. Having someone there that day to help you go through all of this is truly a lifesaver and you can't put a price on that because it is going to help you enjoy the day and have peace of mind as you go through this day knowing that everything is taken care of no matter what scenario comes up. There have been things that I have heard from wedding planners of a bride holding a baby and the baby's diaper leaked and there was poop on the bride's dress, candle wax spilling on black pants, white candle wax spilling on a black pant, prior to the first dance. My cousin's wedding, the flower girl was running and she fell down, got grass stains in her dress and damaged the bouquet. Luckily, she had a backup bouquet because she couldn't decide which bouquet she wanted to carry down the aisle. This happened prior to walking down the aisle. We were taking photos before the ceremony. There's so much that could potentially happen on wedding day and it is just so so wonderful to have someone there as backup. There's always that bridesmaid or the maid of honor that you put in charge and maybe they drank a little too much or you know, they're just not having the best day to help take care of all the things that you need. So it is just highly, highly, highly recommended to have somebody there on wedding day. I would also like to add here that I'm going to put a wedding day checklist of all the things that you need to prepare for your wedding day for potential malfunctions like a sewing kit, scissors, everything is linked in an Amazon store as well. So it's super convenient for you to buy all the items that will be linked below for you. Last thing that I want to include here is displaying your gown for photos. A lot of brides like to display their gown prior to putting it on on wedding day for the photographer to capture the dress either hanging or on a mannequin. You want to be very, very careful in the way in which that you hang the gown. Let's say that your dress has any straps or any type of illusion mesh, maybe that's kind of cut the way that my top is. If you hang it from there or you put it on a mannequin, you're stretching it. So be very careful in the way in which you hang things or the way that your photographer handles your dress, they are generally so well versed, but I would still be careful because maybe they haven't handled a dress with your specific type of illusion. So ask your bridal salon, ask your bridal stylist, what are the best ways to pose the dress? When you're putting it on a mannequin, a lot of our brides do like to put the dress on a mannequin. I recommend that you put it on the mannequin at the very, very last second. You don't want to zip it up. And also that's another thing to consider too, is not all mannequins are going to fit your body dimensions so that can be a little bit challenging that's something that you want to consider ahead of time but if the mannequin is a perfect size let's say when you zip it up it could potentially stretch out the dress so you don't want to leave it on the mannequin for too long you would just put it on for photos and take it right off and when you go to hang the dress make sure that you're hanging it from the inner straps that are usually at the bottom of where the armpit would be versus the actual strap like I had mentioned before I hope that you found this video helpful for more videos like this please be sure to to tune in every Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I will see you in next week's video.